Hi, guess who? I've seen the team's expectations for the race, so I thought I'd pass them on and wish you luck. Take care. Hi guys, come on, Shibuya. Welcome to the F1 2016 crew mode today, and we'll be doing the Bahrain Grand Prix today. We qualified seventh of the Grand Prix, and these are our race goals. Finish race in 14th or higher, beat Roman Grosjean, and to place 15th or higher in the Drivers' Championship at the moment. Because we are 15th in there at the moment, so... <clears throat> we qualified seventh of this Grand Prix, and... Yep, yeah, let's hope this is a good race, because it's usually a good race. As you can see, if we do another upgrade there, we'll be equal with McLaren in the vehicle performance comparison, so... Now let's go to the race for the Bahrain Grand Prix. There's something in the Bahrain air tonight, and I'm not just talking about the sand. Our brightest minds have thrust their brightest ideas into the spotlight of the Sakir circuit this evening as we look ahead once more to a Grand Prix that has thrilled us so consistently in the past. Formula One returns to the desert today on this exceptional 3.36 mile circuit. 15 corners provide plenty of overtaking opportunities and two DRS zones will help with that as well. It could be a strategic race this one with Sakir notorious for eating up the rear tyres. Watch out for drivers managing their rubber at some point during the Grand Prix. Bahrain has showed us many times in the past though, Anthony Davidson, that a good strategy will only take you so far. Beyond that, you need good racecraft and you need good consistency. And a little bit of luck too, I'd say. This is one of those circuits where the safety car always seems to come out just at the right time to condense the field together and mix up the cars on different strategies. It's hard on brakes, it's tough on fuel, and the main overtaking opportunity is down into turn one, where it's easy to outbreak your opponent and potentially have a bit of argy-bargy as well. We're in a better grip position than we were expecting. Let's see if we can hold on to it. With that then, let's run through the grid order. Nico Rosberg will start his Silver Arrow from pole position. And it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Raikkonen, a Haas, Bottas, Perez, and Nico Hülkenberg, Grosjean, Massa, Carlos Sainz, and Button, Kvyat, Alonso, Felipe Nasa, and Pascal Wehrlein, Palmer, and Harry Anto, Kevin Magnussen, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So here we are on the grid in Bahrain, starting from seventh on the grid. Our race strategy for this race, the projected one anyway, is a super soft run for the first stint and a soft run at the end of the race. Our personalized one for the tire wear test is a two stop strategy which is not recommended in my opinion. It's a super soft and a soft and a super soft uh, for the run, so... I'm just going to go with the first strategy, and here we are on the formation lap <coughs> for this Bahrain Grand Prix. I, I hope it's an exciting race. It's usually... It's usually every time we arrive here in Bahrain, it's usually an exciting race. 2013, it was uh, twice two seasons, even though the first season, well, obviously in Force India, wasn't the greatest season but uh, yeah but this ho this hopefully will be good it should be and uh, here we are just this is just some clips from the formation lap just from the replay cam because I <coughs> want to tense up the race a little bit more it's always what I do with the formation lap these days um, but the formations lap n it's not just about getting tensed up it's also about warming up the tyres for the like getting a good start and stuff like that but um, we're behind Raikkonen, so we're behind the Ferraris and Red Bulls, which is good to see. Our teammate Roman Grosjean, for memory, is down in 12th, so... Let's hope he can make up some places as we go. Final corner. And here we go. Forming up for the race starts. For the second race of the season here in Bahrain. Let's hope it's a good race. Rosberg on pole position, Hamilton in second. Vettel in 4th, Ricardo in 5th, Reich in 6th, Bottas lines up beside me in 7th, Perez in 8th, and Grosjean should line up any minute as well. There he is, in 11th place. So here we are for the Bahrain Grand Prix, starting the race, the second race of the season. The lights are on for the Bahrain Grand Prix. 
and it's away we go for the second race of the F1 2016 crew mode and it's a pretty mm, it's a right start from us there and Bottas is going to get past us into turn one and it's a very aggressive off the line goes Bottas but into turn one we lost two positions already off the start uh, to Bottas and to almost Sergio Perez but we we go back on the inside of him into that corner and now we're getting the slipstreaming on Valtteri Bottas again down into turn four. Here we go, ooh, almost clipping him there. And that also up the inside of Raikkonen, not quite. We get Bottas back into seventh place. <coughs> a good start to this Bahrain Grand Prix. Hopefully we can continue with this. A good start to the race. But now we're behind Kimi Raikkonen into turn 10. We almost clip him there into turn 10. Very, very close stuff. This is a decent start to the race. We've kept our seventh place position. But now we're getting very close to Kimi Raikkonen. We're actually going to have a look up the inside. But we didn't quite get it there. And Oh, it's a turn 11. We've had to avoid him there and go slightly off the track and go wide. So <laughs> let's just check out a replay of that. That was very, very close. So here we go on the straight. And into the braking zone. Oh, it was quite close. We, we had to avoid Raikkonen there from just uh, hitting the back of him. Uh, hitting the back of his rear wing. That would have been costly. But uh, now coming into lap two, the Bahrain Grand Prix. We're still in seventh place at the moment. But uh, now the Mercedes are having a battle ahead. And Sebastian Vettel's going to challenge Lewis Hamilton for second place in the race. Here he goes on the inside. Is Vettel going to get the position into second? They're side by side. But is Vettel going to get the place? I don't think he will. No, he won't. Vettel does not get the place. I can see him up ahead. He, won't get, he hasn't got the place. <coughs> so Vettel tried <coughs> to get second place there. And it didn't quite work out. But now we're going to... We're still behind Kimi Raikkonen. They're not sure when we're going to make a pass on him. <clears throat> but here is a replay of the start of the race. <clears throat> this is an interesting start to the race, to be honest. So you can see Rosberg's on pole. Verstappen made a pretty mm, terrible start there. Or was it Ricardo? It was Ricardo. But so uh, here we go into turn one. You can see me on the outside. Run, uh, on the outside of Perez. We get the move done there. Because Perez actually left us room on the outside there. I just I hate it when the AI do that. Because I, that's just not competitive from them. Here we go. Uh, here's when I go up the inside of Bottas. Raikkonen cuts us off. Unbelievable. But we kept our seventh place position. And a good start to the race so far here in Bahrain. Good start. Rosberg still leads this race. But now on lap three, Raikkonen's got some smoke in the back of his car for some reason. Probably a lock up. But now coming onto the straight, <coughs> Raikkonen has DRS open. We have DRS open. Who's going to. Are we going to go for the move into turn 11? Yes, we are. We're going to go for the move and we get 6th place. We finally move up a position. Oh, we sl slide out of turn 11 there. But we finally move up a position into 6th place. So, one position gained at the moment from our starting position. Now moving on to lap 4 of the Grand Prix. Hamilton says a 137.9 is our fastest lap. But Raikkonen is coming back at us with DRS. Coming into turn 1. Is Raikkonen going to go on the inside to get us back? Yes, he does. Raikkonen gets us back on the inside. That's why I love the AI in this game, because they, they fight back like uh, crazy sometimes. But now Bottas is... Oh, he's actually clipped us there, Bottas. And now coming to the final corner on lap four of the Grand Prix still. And we are going to come in for an early pit stop, as we saw on lap three. Our tyres were on 50% 50, 50 of wear, so... We're going to come into the pits quite early for a set of soft tyres. Possibly our only stop in this Grand Prix. So it's been an interesting race so far. There's only been one, two proper overtakes. Here we go. I can tell you, what a speedy stop there. I can just tell you that was a 2.2 second stop from Haas. That was a two second stop. I can tell you that. Speedy stop. <laughs> so, so that's what they should do all season. But now coming out of the pit lane, obviously in last place, I think. I think we're in last place. Yeah, we are in last place, so... Yeah, <clears throat> so we rejoined in last place after that because obviously lap four, the field is all bunched up and stuff like that. Now we're into the final corner now. We're going to move up some positions surely here. Moving on to lap six of the Bahrain Grand Prix. Coming onto the straight. <coughs> here we go. Moving up some positions now. Uh, at least three, maybe four positions if we get out ahead of this car. No, we don't. It's Daniel Ricciardo. We do not get out ahead of Daniel Ricciardo there. So, very interesting. So, there's, there's a huge train up ahead there. I'm not sure who that is led by. 
huge train. It's 19th place at the moment here in Bahrain. But now Ricardo has caught up to the train. I believe that the Sauber Felipe Nasser is holding it up here. And now into the final corner. Vettel goes on the inside of Nasser, gets the move done. And that costs Nasser time, which costs Ricardo time. And now we're going to get DRS on the pair of them. Coming down onto the straight. Ricardo pulls over to the inside of Nasser. Coming into this corner. We're going to get a double slipstream. Moving to the inside of both of them into turn one. We're going to get... 12th place on the inside, a double overtake, a nice move there from us, and NASA's holding it around the outside of Daniel Ricciardo, is he going to get the move now? No he doesn't, as he spun round there, Felipe Nasser spins, he was holding up such a good train there, but Felipe Nasser spins round at the exit of this corner, and now Hamilton and Verstappen are challenging the Renault Kevin Magnussen coming into turn 4, 3 wide into turn 4, this is unbelievable, coming into turn 5 now, they're still 3 wide! There's going to be a crash here, surely. No, no, how was there not a crash there? And Hamilton gets ahead of Verstappen and Magnussen. Gets into 8th place. We got inside of Vettel. Overtakes everywhere at the moment here in Bahrain. Coming up to the outside of Magnussen. Coming into turn 9 and 10. Here we go. We're, get, we're going to get the switch back on Magnussen. Coming into turn 10. We're going to go on the inside. And that's great traction. And we get into the points paying positions in 10th place. Overtakes everywhere, just in one lap. That was absolute madness. Wow, <laughs> too much action there. But coming into turn, the final corner now. Hamilton moves to the inside of Palmer now. What is this? Too much action at the moment. On the straights, Verstappen is pulling to the inside of Palmer. Vettel's now pulling to the inside of lap eight of this Grand Prix. He's got DRS open. Vettel is side by side with this coming down into turn one. Verstappen has got Palmer, but now Vettel is going on the inside. We're trying to hold it around the outside into turn two. We get the move done there, but now coming up to the straight. Oh, there's contact there! And we've spun round. Vettel has spun, we have spun. And there's been a collision there between me and Sebastian Vettel. Let's check the replay. Can, can the action actually stop? There is just non-stop action at the moment here in Bahrain. On board with Vettel into turn one. This is the replay of the incident. What a race this is actually is. So Vettel's trying to actually go for the gap that was did not exist there. And he spun round completely. <coughs> Ricardo has a point of view of this as well. Vettel's completely left his face. Vettel's gone for a gap that does not exist. And he's, we both spin round. <coughs> now, I'm not sure if that's a racing incident or that's my fault. That's It's one of them. But uh, the safety car actually came out for that, which was quite, quite, quite weird because Vettel didn't retire from the race. So it was quite weird to have the safety car deployed for that. But uh, here is Roman Grosjean coming to the pits for a set of medium tyres. For some odd reason, he's going to medium tyres. I don't know why he's going to medium tyres. But I've got to soft tyres, obviously, for the last stint. So I've pitted those in lap four. But now coming, Grosjean comes out of the pit lane. <coughs> and we are in 13th at the moment. Behind Alonso in the McLaren Honda. So, checking the race director now. Jensen Button and Carlos Sainz are leading because they haven't pitted yet. But the... The effective order is Rosberg leading for Lewis Hamilton and Roman Grosjean in third place. Roman Grosjean, my teammate, is effectively on the podium position at the moment. This is looking good for our team Haas. It's looking... Double points finishes on the cards here. And maybe Grosjean may be getting a podium. If he gets a podium, that would be awesome for the Haas F1 team. That would be pretty good there. But that upgrade we had was really effective, clearly. Grosjean's in third at the moment. Now that's not too bad. This is seriously a, not, this is a, seriously a race with non-stop action. There was literally so much action. Here is Grosjean. <coughs> you can see, possibly ahead, you can see the safety car. There you can see Rosberg and Hamilton. Then you can see... Roman Grosjean in third place. And here we are on lap 11 where the safety car comes in at the end of this lap. Let's, this is going to be an awesome sprint to, to the finish here in Bahrain. <coughs> lap 11, so there's a three lap sprint to the finish here in Bahrain. This is going to be exciting here. The action will s still probably not stop after the safety car restart. This has been an absolute madness race from start to finish. There were cars everywhere. There were three battles in one straight at one point between Palmer and Verstappen, then uh, me and Vettel, and then 
Bright and Ricardo. But now we're getting ready to restart this race here in Bahrain. We're, we're in the points main positions. We're trying to get, get Fernando Alonso on the straight. We should get him on the straight, but uh, uh, actually he's pulling away, which is very weird there. But now here comes Massa with his Mercedes power in the Williams. And then we go up the inside of Fernando Alonso now into turn one. And we get ninth place on the inside. That's our first overtake. So the action hasn't stopped in this race still. And now coming slipstreaming Daniel Fiat now with the Toro Rosso. Are we going to go up the inside of him into turn four? Yes, we are. And it's eighth place. We've made two positions within four corners now. The action still isn't stopping here in Bahrain. Coming into turn five and into six. We are slipstreaming Bottas coming into this corner on the straight. Are we going to get him onto the straight, onto the lap 12 and onto the penultimate lap of the Grand Prix? Lap 13 of 14. There's, there's a battle ahead between, I believe, Raikkonen maybe. And here we go. We're going to try and go up the inside of Bottas from a very long way back. And we get seventh place on the inside. But now Bottas is fighting it back on the inside. He's pushed us onto the curb slightly there. But now he's going back on the outside. He's coming down into turn four. He gets the place back. But now we're going up the inside of Bottas again into turn four. Seventh place has been taken. Oh, we've gone back into our starting position. Wow, this is just non-stop. I, I don't think I've commentated over a part where it's been boring in this race. This has been an awesome race. Totally the craziest race ever because you've got Grosjean who's been passed by Ricardo unfortunately so he hasn't got that podium. But now up on the inside of Raikkonen into the penultimate corner we get 6th place and now we sit behind our teammate Roman Grosjean. Are we going to try and overtake him here? Or are we try going to try and stick behind him? Or no, nah, he's probably going to let me through because I'm clearly the faster car here. But now coming up to the top, <coughs> sorry, the penultimate corner, and now into the final corner, we slipstream Roman Grosjean coming into the final corner. Are we going to get him for another place in this race? We're going to go up the inside of Grosjean into the final corner, and we get fifth place on the inside. And this is an awesome race for Haas so far. Grosjean on the medium tyres, his gamble has worked out, and the final lap now in this Grand Prix, I don't want this to end, this is too much, now Riker is now going to the inside, and now Carl Sainz is out of the race, what, can the action just, can the action, the action just keeps coming, Carl Sainz, has, his engine has blown up there on the straight, right in front of Sebastian Vettel, who hasn't caught up much after his spin, but uh, what, a, what a madness race that was. I really do not want that race to end. But it's now the final lap. We come around the final corner. Nico Rosberg wins his second race in a row. But we finish in fifth place. What a brilliant result that is for Haas F1. We finish in fifth and sixth. What a good result. Fifth place. That's an awesome result. We equal Roman Grosjean in real life, we are finishing fifth in Bahrain. Mercedes team celebrate after Nico Rosberg wins the Grand Prix for the second time. So he's he's won both the races. Or was it no? Hamilton won the first race actually. Then it was Rosberg's second race. Anthony Davidson said the sa the safety car completely changed the race. It did indeed. Rosberg gets onto the podium. Hamilton is second. And Max Verstappen gets his first podium of the season in third place. Rosberg holds up the trophy <coughs> in triumph. Celebrates his first victory of the season. And now the champagne is sprayed. Well, it shouldn't be... S Technically that's not realistic in this game because there was no, there's no champagne being sprayed in Bahrain. There's usually rose water or something else. Because there's no, there's no alcohol allowed in Bahrain for some reason. But Nico Rosberg wins the Bahrain Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton in second place. Only three hundreds between the two Mercedes. So, wow. What? Wow. Verstappen in third. Ahead of Daniel Ricciardo in fourth. Then me in fifth. Then Romain Grosjean in sixth place. Kimi Ra A great day for Haas. Kimi Raikkonen in seventh. Then Valtteri Bottas. Daniel Kvyat. Fernando Alonso finishes the points. Once again in tenth. Massa in eleventh place for Williams. Sergio Perez finishes twelfth for... Force India. And we went down to get to the 13th place. Hulkenberg, his teammate in 13th. Pascal Verlein, an awesome drive to finish in 14th. Jensen Button in 15th place. Jolly and Palmer in 16th. Sebastian Vettel after being spun 
in that incident, finishes 17th, Marcus Ericsson, 18th, Rio Harriento, Felipe Nasser, Kevin Magnussen, and Carlos Sainz is the DNF. Of this, uh, of this Bahrain Grand Prix. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. Moving on to the driver of the day then. Anthony Davidson, who would you go for? Well, I think it has to be Fernando Alonso. He got the strategy spot on and consistently had the pace to come through as well. And now let's take a look at the constructor's standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. After all that excitement, it's time for a lie down, I think. Thanks for joining us and goodbye until the next race. Truly is time for a lie down, Crofty, after that excitement of that race. And it's good to mention that uh, Haas gets a few positions gained there, but Hamilton leads the championship still, but tying with Nico Rosberg in the World Championship. So Mercedes are 1 2 still. Ricardo 16 points behind his third ahead of Verstappen. Then Raikkonen, then me in 6th place, that's awesome. Valtteri Bottas, then Roman Grosjean in 8th, Sebastian Vettel, Jensen Button, Nico Hulkenberg, Daniel Kvyat, Felipe Massa, Fernando Alonso, Sergio Perez, Carlos Sainz, Pascal Verlain, Jolien Palmer, Rio Harianto, Marcus Erickson, Felipe Nessa, and Kevin Magnussen. Mercedes lead the constructors by 34 points, and Red Bull and Ferrari in 3rd, Haas in 4th after being last in the first race of the season. Williams in 5th, McLaren in 6th, Toro Rosso, Force India, Sauber, Manor, and Renault. So after that, after that awesome Bahrain Grand Prix, here are our resource points after the race. This should be really good. So we got a session participation one, so we got 25. This is, oh, this is awesome. 117 resource points. That is just awesome. So you even got an extra 10 for, the, for having the career booster DLC. <laughs> but here we go. We finished fifth, we beat there. You got a fastest sector one, two, and three. And we got the fastest lap over him. We are all we are pretty much beating him. He I don't think there is any way he can beat us now. We finished 14th or higher. Our teammate Roman Grosjean has been achieved. We are in the purple zone now. So we are o way overachieving. We are like officially in the purple zone. We are we are like very o we are very much overachieving in this season so far. But China's next. Hopefully. We'll do well there. It's not one of our stronger tracks, but hopefully we'll do well there. We get 8,702 points for our career score in total of 13,013. But China is not is one of my weaker tracks. So hopefully we... Yeah. Hi, Emma here. I had a sit-down with the executives today to talk about your progress. Long story short, they are happy. Keep it up. The team is quite happy with our performances, as you heard there from our agent. Hope you enjoyed what was an awesome Bahrain Grand Prix. The Chinese Grand Prix is next. As I said, it's not one of my stronger tracks, so I don't think I'll do as well as I did here. But hopefully you enjoyed it. See you guys on my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.